This is our third class on um, the tarot. Today we're going to be looking at the minor arcana and particularly on how we can use the tarot to discern personality, typology, and life situations. So as I said, today we're going to be talking about the minor arcana and personal experience. So remember that the minor arcana, which is composed of both the pip cards and the court cards, refer to the personal realm. The major arcana return, uh, refer more to the archetypal realm, but these refer to the personal realm. The pip cards, and you'll recall the pip cards are the cards numbered ace through 10, refer to personal events and situations. And the court cards refer to relationships in the world and within the psyche. I'd like to review, today we're going to be doing a lot, using a lot of visuals, because first of all, I want to emphasize that the tarot is a visual tool. So we really want to immerse ourselves in the imagery of the tarot. That's very important to do. And I want to present you with this sort of graph or um, this configuration that talks about the minor arcana in terms of their typological function, in terms of Jung's psychological types, the tarot suit, and then because the tarot, the Rider Waite tarot especially, is very closely connected with the Kabbalah, we're going to be looking at the relationship of each of those functions and suits with worlds of the Kabbalah, and then the medieval alchemical elements of fire, earth, air, and water are also associated. So we want to remember that the function of intuition is associated with the tarot suit of the wand. That's the highest, uh, highest Kabbalistic world, the world of Atzilut, and that is the archetypal world. And the element is the element of fire. The typological function of feeling is symbolized in the tarot by the suit of cups. And that's the second Kabbalistic world, the world of Briach. And that's the world of creation. And the element is water. I always love the wisdom of the Kabbalah in that it seems to be that life came from water and the world of creation is associated with the element of water. The typological function of thinking is associated with the tarot suit of the swords. In the Kabbalah, that is the world of Yetzirah, the world of formation when things begin to take form. So we have that limitation of form, and that's the element of air. And the final typological function, sensation, is represented in the tarot by the suit of pentacles. It's the Kabbalistic world, Asiyah, the world of manifestation this world that we're in here. And that is the element of earth. Now, what we're going to do today is have an opportunity to spend some time. I'm turning on my uh, timer because I want to be sure we get through everything, but I also want to give you enough time to reflect. And we are going to be going through each of the minor arcana pip cards. And I'm go just gonna show them one at a time, starting with the ace, going through 10. And I would like you to experience the images of the cards as though they were telling you a story about each suit and about each element. So what the tarot does is it allows us to get into a qualitative dimension about each of the elements, fire, water, air, and earth, and, and each of the suits, wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. And if we look at all of the minor arcana going from the ace through 10 in order, we begin to see what the artist of the tarot, Pamela Coleman Smith, wanted us to learn about these functions and these elements.